of Tipperary. I think I've said that before. I've no idea where Tipperary is, actually. It's probably a long way to Kingston, actually. It's more to the point with this song. Anyway, we're just trying to work out where we're going to put these lovely ladies. First choice, of course, is to put the water pot. So I'm kind of, I reckon I had them here last time I was here, but just wondering whether that's as good a spot as any, so maybe we'll just put them there again. Then we'll know where we are, won't we? It's nice and simple to get it. But we might go for a little drive before I make that decision. So jump on board and we'll have a bit of a drive around. Stringy barks or something, are they? I don't know. I do not say what they are because I don't know. Don't quote me. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I'm not that very informed about what trees I'm looking at, but uh, there's nothing happening there. But I reckon that spot there, this is the edge of the park, which has got a few banks here in it. Might be a good thing. For all you Australian viewers, we're not in the Narcad if you're wondering about Banksias too, by the way. <laughs> so, just as a little side note, but I'm probably not going to tell you where I am because I don't even know myself. It's a mystery. Shall we go here? This looks pretty good too. I really don't know, John. <laughs> I wonder why it was there last time. Maybe we'll just go where we were supposed to be, where we knew we were, where we could have been, where it should have been, where it was, where it might have been, could have been. How does that saying go? <laughs> Bit like my mum, that was so funny. They had a thing on the news <laughs> about this crazy virus and they said, oh, you 70 year old should stay at home and look after yourselves and don't do anything crazy. So I said to my mum, would you like me to go shopping for you? And she says, no, I'm bloody 80 years old, I'm right. <laughs> it's like, it's pretty sure it said plus 70. <laughs> Anybody above 70? Anyway, so I like her attitude. She's that bloody gnarly. She says, no, nah, stuff them. <laughs> Bless her. Hell, I hope I'm that positive when I'm 80. Fucking hell. Well, the way I'm going, I won't still be here, will I? I reckon if we go here and then we can put the water pot down the hill a little bit and that will work just dandy randy. We'll put the water in there. What do you think? Is that a good idea? What do you think out there in internet land? Come on, say something back. Honestly, you're coming along for the journey. You have to have an input. Yeah. So I reckon we'll just put them there and then if we come back with the truck, we could pick them all up. All you've got to do is decide where you're going to put the campsite. I don't think these crappy roofs are actually sunproof, because look at this. They're starting to deteriorate. Pretty slack, isn't it? Interesting thing about plastic when it's not UV stable, isn't it? I guess the upside to that is, though, if you lay them out in the paddock, eventually they disappear. Just go poof. Do they turn back into oil, do they? Plastic ropes? I doubt that very much. Stick the rope in your fuel tank and let it break down, you reckon? could be a problem. Oh, hell. I was just listening to this podcast on the way down here. It was a lass in New York. And she goes, oh my goodness, I could smell the sea. I didn't know I was living that close to the ocean. Because obviously with all this people in lockdown, there's not so much car admission so she can smell nature. So I thought that was rather interesting. <laughs> this is a really weird ass side note. Help. <laughs> Just in case we have to go number twos. <laughs> and I got a few, well, shit. I got a few ropes. Oh, because I ran out of room in the back of the ute. Oh, that's a long way down in there. What's that? What's that bloody song? It's a hard luck life for us. <laughs> that was out of Annie or something, wasn't it? Mind you, they were orphans, so I don't think they were beekeepers. Oh. 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 I think we need to shop jobs. Maybe I better learn how to run that camera. Oh. Oh. Shit. <laughs> don't do that, you silly thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh. That's 
so it's a bit of open the lid. One time I was doing this and I was bloody letting it siphon out and I, I took the hose off of there but left it in the drum and then all the shit siphoned back out <laughs> under the ground. So that was, don't leave your siphon hose in the pot till you'll come back and you'll have no water. Which is a bright pain in the bottom when you're a long way from home. It's very peaceful. It's almost too peaceful. <laughs> I was reading about this old beekeeper that um, when he passed away, his family were trying to find all his bee sites because all his beehives were scattered around the countryside and no one could find them all. Because I mean, it's like this sort of shit, if you didn't remember, and that was probably before GPSing and satellite disking, you know, like he just had it all in his head, turned left at the dead gum tree and up by the willow that was backwards and growing out of the tree sideways or some crap, I don't know, or the third yakka bush. I don't know where they ever actually ever found all these hives, so I think a good idea would be to mark these on the sites. That's, but we could be in trouble because the person in pink isn't here to push the buttons that tell us where we are, so I don't know. We've been left to our own devices, which is a bit scary, so I think I got all excited and bought a carrot, so we might have some salad when we eat something. But who knows? We will find out if the barbecue actually works. That will be the next thing. I don't think I even brought a can of baked beans, so we couldn't even have cold beans if we wanted to. Matter of fact, you couldn't buy bloody baked beans in Loxton for the last couple of weeks anyway. Just thought it was rather interesting. Oh, God. Anyway, it's a brave new world. We were just arguing about whether to put the tent up or not. And someone here says he's got special little pegs on his swag so he doesn't care if it rains. You might care if it rains if you're bloody boiling the chops on the barbecue. Mind you, you might not be allowed to put the... That's probably a very good point. You're not going to put the barbecue in the tent anyway, are you? I guess we could put it under your crazy ass bloody veranda on your car that I bought that we've never used. Did you bring the pegs? Yay, we might actually try it out. <laughs> good on you, Wolf Blass. <sighs> Wow, look at that. Bit of lovely clean Murray water in there. Goodness me. 